what is going on everybody? My name is Box from Box and Jackalope, and today we're going to be talking about why Razagath was a great introductionary villain in World of Warcraft Dragonflight. I'm joined by special guest Banarak. Yo, 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 I'm here, and uh, I'm that guy who likes orcs. Same. I, I also I also enjoy orcs. They're they're pretty pretty amazing race in World of Warcraft. Before I say this too, I actually for all of Shadowlands' faults, Sire Denathrius was a good intro villain. That's just I'm just gonna throw that out there at the start. But a character that was not a good intro villain in Shadowlands was Zoval. Zoval was terribly done, and he was a character that felt like he had a lot of build up, but no build up, and he just monologued the whole time. Well. I will say something I like about Razageth is she has presence in the storyline. I really like the way Blizzard paced this out, actually. You see her release during the Drakthir campaign, and the fact that Blizzard released this in the pre-patch to me was awesome. I think it was really nice being able to see her being released, as well as building up the bosses that we got to fight in the Vault of the Incarnates. Um, I, I, we've mentioned this band, and I'll, I'll mention it briefly. Kurog Grimtotem, I think, should have been in, like, Azur span and just been a little bit more a part of the storyline, but it was great to see him in the director's starting zone. And that release of Razageth made her feel very strong for a new character. Um, and I think that was really well done. A few things I disliked about her, and I'll just I'll just throw it out here. I have no problem talking about this. I think she monologues and flies away a little bit too much. We've talked to our friend Eva about this, and that, that's like my only dislike about her, but I, I do like her in the cutscenes. I like how she, she does something that a good villain does, and she tries to challenge the heroes, like Alex Straza say, talking about how they're kind of just pawns of the Titans, and I, I think that's that was something that was really well done with her. Too many paid for that. Spare me your sanctimony. You forced the Titans' edict upon us all. You betrayed the world that gave us life. And when we dared resist, you cast us out. And I'll let you kind of go on a little rant about her in a second, Ben. But the, the, the last bit that I really like about Razageth, and I hate to mention the Z word, but compared to Soval, Razageth actually got stuff done that she wanted to. She releases the other incarnates at the end of the Vault of the Incarnates raid, and while she loses and dies there, she is now a character that did something that had a lot of impact on the story. Um, well, I don't think it's on the same level of the what have you done cinematic in Legion. It was a pretty interesting reveal, and it Razageth, because she already felt threatening, made the other incarnates, in my opinion, feel scarier than her and I think the writers did a pretty good job with her but I'm, I'm very curious to see what you think of her ban um, and I, I don't know if you feel as fondly as I do about her I think if she stood around for more than one patch I think she would have been terrible because it just would have been her monologue and flying away but we, we really got a I feel like a sense of finality with her storyline and, and didn't overstay its welcome and she also in my opinion had one of the most fun launch raids. I only did it on normal. I haven't downed Razageth yet, but I, I quite enjoyed the raid, and the, the boss fight is very tough uh, gameplay-wise. That's a whole other thing. But I think kudos to Blizzard on this one. Uh, after some of the janky writing we had in Shadowlands, this this felt quite good. And I don't know. I'm curious. I want to throw this out to you, Ban. Do you think Razageth felt good because Zoval was so terrible and because a lot of the community had, like, Sylvanas fatigue? I know that's something that kind of gets brought up sometimes, too. It's like, well, she's good, but is it because Shadowlands wasn't good and it's something that's just okay? I personally don't think so. I think she was pretty well done but i i want to throw all that out to you i know i just kind of info dumped you for five minutes there yeah yeah you info dumped <laughs> I, I didn't get to even say anything yet um hey everyone okay so i i've i've kind of just been lingering here and listening to to box gush his heart out about resigeth um and i'll answer your question really quickly before i forget about it uh so re the last good villain i feel like we had in wow uh, was both Nazoth and Ajara, and then, you know, we kind of leaned over and had to deal with Zoval and Sylvanas' shenanigans for quite a while. 
Um, and Sylvanas, I felt like, was already tiresome because of BFA, and that kind of dragged on with her into Shadowlands. And I will actually say, I think I liked her more as a villain in Shadowlands than I did with BFA, because in BFA, they had that whole misgiving of, like, is she bad or is she good going on, when it was very evident that she was bad. And I kind of just wish that they, you know, just pushed down and just had her be the villain that she was always meant to be. Because uh, Shadowlands let her do that, and then they kind of, you know pulled away from that to make her kind of an anti-hero again, and then had her do her penance thing, which is, you know, uh, I'm okay with that ending with Sylvanas, but with Zoval, Zoval just sucked, and, uh, I did not like Zoval at all. There was not really a moment of me going like, you know what, I kind of like Zoval. Uh, there could have easily been that for him, but there was not. His design didn't get good until he got his armor, and even then it was kind of dorky looking when he moved around in it, and... My favorite thing is the way, like, in the raid, if you pull him too far, he kind of just shambles really quick over to the group with the armor on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he has really weird finicky animations, and I don't know if that was done on purpose because he's a robot, but... Okay, uh, but anyways, going on to Razageth and talking about her, um... So yeah, I, I think when you compare her to, like, Ajara or, uh, Nazoth, she doesn't stand out as much when you compare her to them. But when you compare her to Zovol, obviously she's better, I think. Um, I think that she is definitely her own villain, which is good. Um, and I will, I will open up by saying what I don't like about her, and I think my biggest problem with her is one, and I, I feel like this might change as the expansion goes on, because one, uh, I do hope we learn more about the uh, Incarnates, because that's the biggest problem I have with the Incarnates of Primalist. They kind of just show up out of nowhere. And I wish that we got a little bit more of, like, who they are, what they are. We're getting that a little bit in snippets, so I feel like that will change. But my biggest issue with Razageth is she has these moments where she could definitely kill our heroes. Uh, either with Khadgar, or Kalik, or Rathian, or Alexstrasza. She has these moments where she could totally do this, but chooses not to. She kind of just monologues instead and then flies off. And leaves our characters to kind of think about what she's done. And I know maybe they're doing that on purpose. Maybe that she was, like, supposed to be kind of like this villain who has you, like, think about what she's saying. But she really just... I honestly think, in my opinion, she has that moment where she could do that. And you probably should have either had the character get injured or like they did with Azure Span, which is probably a better moment and an explanation on why she didn't kill them, was when the blue dragonflight showed up to save Kalik. Um, it, we needed more moments like that, I think. Um, like, it, it was way better when they did it with, uh, Alexstrasza, because she clearly was going to kill Alexstrasza, but Rathian saved her. But, like, the first time she does it with Rathian, she spares Rathian. And, like, I always thought, like, they should have done more with that, where, like, maybe she's kind of trying to make Rathian convert, which could have been a cool plot point, and maybe they will do that later. But, like... It really does feel like they that they she just kind of does that a little too much. And I think that's my biggest gripe with her. But other than that, she is a really strong villain in terms of, like, she's getting stuff done and she actually feels like a threat. And, like, what I really like, and this is something I think people don't like about her, but I actually like about her, is she's, she's just a straight-up villain. If you do the raid, if you do, if you do the quests, primalists are just the worst. They are not good people. Uh, Razageth, to her own minions, she treats them like utter garbage. She's like, oh, you're dying? Yeah, that's the point. You're gonna die. I don't care about you. You're supposed to stop them. Go do it. I gotta go free my incarnate siblings. And she goes off and does it. So, I like that Razageth is kind of like this irredeemable, uh, lizard who is just mean and grumpy and bad. Um, I like her design, although I will say... For someone who's supposed to be the youngest, she looks like she's supposed to be the grandma. Everyone else looks, like, way younger than her uh, when you compare her to the other the other incarnates. And I think it's that, like, white hair that she has going on. But she feels yeah, like she, a... she looks just, like, really crazy. It's something like, I do she, like about her. She is the most unique looking, and I really liked the marketing that they used of Razageth for the CGI trailers with the troll and the, and the Wildhammer Dwarf. Uh, the Zandalari troll, I should say. Uh, she just feels like an absolute terror, which was very much missing with Zovol. Zovol, what does the guy do? He has no kill count. <laughs> he has Nothing. zero. Nothing. He didn't do anything. 
Oh, he, he, he did the same thing that Resgeth did, where, he, like, he had the opportunity to, like, kill us in Xerath Mortis. And he just turns around and goes, This is inconsequential. And, like, at least oh, with Oh, that was Rez terrible. I remember that. At least with Resgeth, she's, like, uh, what's the word? Like, I, I feel like they she kind of did it on purpose because she's kind of, like, got this, like, I'm better than you nature. And, like, she, it's going to bite her in yeah. the butt. I guess, and I did complain about it, rather, and I I still think it's a bad part with her, as it is a bad part with her and Zovol, but Zovol, <laughs> why? He does not have a reason, like, he should have, like, for a guy who got his power back, that should have been his moment of showing off his power some more. Like, he has right, the power, right. Zovol has the power of domination, and because it's such an OP power, it feels like the writers didn't know what to do with that. It feels like they, like... Resigeth doesn't really feel as OP. She just has power over the storm. So I feel like you could survive an attack from her. But with Zavol, I straight up think that the writers didn't know what to do with his power of domination. So they kind of just were like, Ugh, I I'm leaving. So <laughs> I, I, I feel like with Resigeth, she at least tries to kill people. But Zavol just, dude has zero kill count. And was built up as the guy who created the Lich King. So, like, his kill count is only counted if you count Arthas, his kill count. Which, no, because Arthas himself rejected Zovol, too. So, Zovol just sucks. <laughs> his own his own creations of, of, of the Lich Kings defied him. So, yeah, just, ugh. So, so I, I guess the point of this video, everybody, is... Uh... I think Razageth overall works as a good intro villain. Zoval doesn't work as any villain. Um, and hopefully you should check out Ban's video he did on the future of the Incarnates. We'll see more of them, but I, I think Razageth worked really good for a start to the expansion. I, I feel like I feel like things are going to get far more interesting with the uh, Incarnates. I hope so, at least. I really hope mm -hmm. that... They don't repeat themselves with Resigeth. I am very worried about us having just Proto Dragon elemental villains. Uh, yeah. I always, I always kind of liked it when we had like a mid tier villain like Lei Shen or Ragnaros. I feel like I was gonna say I, I like a change of pace, and I'm worried that we're not gonna get that. So I, I don't know how they could do this, but personally, I would love it if they had Visage forms, even though I know they won't. I think it would add a little bit to the characters. I feel like they should do that with the ice and fire one. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would be really cool. Like have like the, cause I feel like th those two are next on the chopping block. And yeah. uh, I forget who it was. I think it was Taliesin who gave the idea that maybe one of them could join us or both of them will join us and we'll have like a primalist ally. And I feel like that'd be kind of good to show that like these primalists, unlike Razageth and Erudicron, actually like the mortals and they don't kill them willy-nilly and that sh you show that by having them turn into mortals and like have them interact with the primalists in a positive manner and then you could have like some of the primalists and the incarnates join us and the aspects and like maybe the aspects like Rathian and Sibelian kind of are like because they're so connected with the earth and if you remember Deathwing had a really strong pact with the elemental lords like he straight up was who freed the elemental lords and revived Ragnaros so it'd be kind of cool to have, like, Rathian and Sibelian be the one odd ones out. I think Ra it's going to be Rathian, honestly, uh, who, like, establishes a bond with the Incarnates. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. Like, you have Rathian I be I'd the be one. down with that. Because, like, Rathian was the most, like, deadly in his youth. So to have him kind of, like, do the opposite of what his dad used to do and what everyone else in the Aspects are doing. Because uh, Rathian was the one who was like, why didn't you just kill them? So to have Rathian kind of change his mind and like be like, no, let's get them to join our side, will be kind of cool. And I, I also hope we get more Rathian, Terran, Gregory cinematics. That would be sick. I, I want more, uh, I want more of that, and I also want uh, Sibelian to to do stuff more. And, I think uh, he definitely will. His, his best, but his best buddy Rexar to show up. I did it, guys. I interjected. I added Rexar in the video. All right. We can All right. On now. that note, now now I'm canceling Skull. So. uh... Ah! Right, we'll, we'll see. Or, uh, canceling Banarak. So, yeah, how can we you cancel will... Skull? I'm banned now. In, do, do you know what, Ban? I'm going to end this on a redemption arc. 
right now. So check out Banarak's channel. He does WoW lore stuff. If you like what you see here, subscribe to our channel and leave a like. Click that bell notification if you want to be notified of future Box and Jackalope uploads. And we will see you all next time. If you have any subjects too, let us know. But bye. Bye.